Did you see this kid? I forget where it was. Probably Florida. He gets suspended from school. 45 days. First of all, what I didn't even know fuck? they had such a thing. That should be just expelled. No, you, like, you lose the year. You, you can't miss that. Many you got to be on steroids before you get a 45-day <laughs> suspension. Because he had a bag of oregano telling the other kids that he had a lid. So he got ex uh, suspended for having a legal fucking... For not, yeah, for having a spice. So basically, he has a legal spice. That's fucking outrageous. So oregano boy... Now, this story is up on the wire, too, today. On the eye bag. He's got a bag of oregano. Period. End of story. Which and would have been fine, except for you telling the other kids, check out the weed I got, Hoss. So they find it. They know it's oregano. They still sp suspend him for pretending he had weed. What? Fuck that shit. He they was go, just showing look. off. He was a stupid kid. They said in Texas they shot that kid for having a plastic toy gun. So why wouldn't this kid be suspended for having a fake pot? I don't like, think they can use that argument. That seems... The weird thing is you probably wouldn't get 45 days for having a bag of pot. How is this leak? How is this allowed? I don't... What needs to be allowed, though? I just feel like it's, it's fucked up to, to say the kid can't go to school for, for over a month because he had something that you're allowed to have. You, be... sound, you sound like every parent in America now. Why is my boy in trouble? This is why I would hate to be a teacher, because oh, you would have to explain to people, no, this fucking kid that you think is smart is not. I hear it's terrible. I would actually tell people, tell your parents not to come to the PTA meeting, or you will be fucking failed. <laughs> if your parents have any questions, I'm taking off a letter grade. Don't, just don't tell them about anything that goes on here. So, now what do you, I guess they're worried... That the other kids started talking about him acting like he was cool. I mean, I guess you do got to make a fucking example out of oregano boy. But what would you do to him? Make him eat all the oregano. Um, I would just confiscate the oregano <laughs> and tell him to go along or detention or whatever. Suspension for forty five fucking for forty five days is. You would just give you straight detention. Yeah. First of all, I also said. Look what a pussy this fucking kid is. See, one of the things I don't, I, I think that we got to teach our kids is that you don't step on fucking dope under any fucking circumstances. You do not do that. Come on, keep it pure, kids. Also, like, did he know he had oregano and he was just trying yeah. to pass it off? Or did he fucking buy it like I'm an idiot? He's trying to fucking be cool. Then he's a moron. They should have just, like, put him up in, in front of an assembly and been like, look at this idiot. His spices. So public shaming. Yes. Uh, this is interesting. Jolly Roger just wrote in. My brother was suspended for an entire semester for pretending he had oxys. Holy shit. He had two Beano and three Tylenol PMs. <laughs> <laughs> well, they just make up the rules as they go along. Like the, the little kid who used a chicken wing bone as a gun and he got sent home. When did that happen? That was like months and months ago. Did he shoot uh, anyone? But, but try, you know, try to go look it up. I'm just really curious. <laughs> How long ago did this happen? Was the tip um, painted orange? Th What's that? <laughs> was the tip painted orange? Because they might not have known it was no, the gun. No. no, he was going back to the one that really was like months ago. Um, <laughs> cigars and Scotch said Nancy Reagan was right. Just say oregano. <laughs> That's good. Mm. Principal is uh, racist towards Italians. This is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. Just add some heavy cream, bacon, and spaghetti. <laughs> you have yourself a nice cabanera. That does sound good. Um, Pretty Ricky said, this shit isn't funny. I started out with oregano, and before I knew it, I was doing lines of garlic sauce off the p pizza delivery guy's ass. Oh, Jesus. Let's see, Paris. Uh, Charlie goes on too long to even fucking read. I don't know why he gets the difference between a post and a novel down. Less than zero tolerance. The kids will never let him forget what a retard he is. First of all, D.D. Ramon writes, I agree, 45 days seems like a long time. But when you're a kid, if someone's gone for 45 fucking days, it's like you never met him. Fez, have you found that story? I have not found that yet. Mm. Um, he's only human... I did the same thing when I was his age. These posts are mint. <laughs> the drug dealers in this town really aren't cutting the mustard. 
I found it. <laughs> yes. Uh, sent home for using a chicken finger as a gun, pointing at another another child and saying "bang." What are you getting on that? When was this? It was two thousand one. <laughs> And I thought it was a couple months ago. This is Holy why I God. had you look it up, Fez. Because just to let you know about your head, you and I did that story at NEW. Really? Yes, we were on different sides of it. In those days, you were all for the kid being thrown out into the streets. I was like, it's a chicken wing. But you were so anti-gun then. But to hear you say it was a couple months ago... I'm just sitting there staring at you. I'm staring as you said it. Um, and th he was not going to bring up what it happened. That's why you're giggling. <laughs> I, I kept. Yeah. Well, I found it on my phone first, and yeah. then I realized he found it too, and I was just like, "Oh fuck!" The only ones I'm seeing are from so 11, 11 years, years ago. ago. That was eight six six run zero fez eight six six run zero fez fez Watley. Not remembering the difference between eleven years ago. And a couple of months. That, Seems like I, yesterday. That kid can probably own a registered chicken wing at this point. Uh, the kid actually owns his own fucking Hooters. He's no longer a kid. <laughs> He's a man. He's a caveman. Still like him, though. He should still be voted in Brom King. Do you know a couple months ago, dinosaurs uh, ruled the Earth? Wow. What? <laughs> By the way, three weeks ago, Julius Caesar was murdered as he left the Senate. Oh my God, what is this going to do for the Empire? How's Brutus? He fucking was mine. And the fucker. That fucker. <laughs> that was Julius Caesar's last fucking words. Fucker! Fucker! <laughs> it's the time traveling Ron and Fez show having a, a biz all. And it is good to know that these kids can get in trouble for almost next to nothing now. And just fucking kicked out for so long. I, uh, Hank and George wants to tell us that you will get arrested by police if you're trying to pass off something legal as drugs. Um, and Philly Chris writes, I usually get busted for trying to pass off drugs as something legal. <laughs> <laughs> My buddy got pinched. Uh, my buddy got suspended for banking a tasty cake pie off the lunch lady's hair net. Well, anybody would for that. What are you going to do? Um, Graham, you're on the run of Fez show. I was, just, I was just calling and saying, kids, lucky all you had was oregano, because if he had time, he would have did time. Uh, I got a time with a Y. Uh, time, you're on the run of Fez show. Hey, Ron, I don't know if you heard this news yesterday. It just, I mean, it just happened yesterday. JFK got shot in Dallas. It is unbelievable. On the same day that Lindbergh crosses the Atlantic, JFK murdered in Dallas. By a chicken. Um, let's go over here to Anthony. Anthony, you're on the Run of Fest show. Yeah, Ronnie, I want to give you my big-ass card number, but Al Dukes hasn't sent it out yet. What's going on? Hooah! 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 Um, we are the Ron and Fez show. We are here with you on a Tuesday. We had a long weekend. Mm hmm. And. We're back in time. Yeah. That's back in time. I'm I don't know what year it is. Nothing matters because we're time cops. Fuck yeah. Don't touch yourself in the past, Zito. You know. Now. Zito, how old were you 11 years ago when... Oh, that was like in 2001? <laughs> I was like... I was 13 when that happened. And yet, to uh, Fez, it feels like just a couple of months ago. God damn um, actually, Let's go over here to Matt. Matt, you're on run of Fez. Yeah, I got a, a spy report. Oh, good. Um, I want to hear this. Spy uh, report. A very special baby named Jesus was born last week. Yeah, I've been looking for him. We're trying to find them. If we have to, we'll kill the first born sons of every fucking family. Um, i got to say hi to a friend of mine. Uh, it's Hard Rock Johnny. Hello, Johnny. Hello, boys. I just want to see if you had an update from yesterday's story where Billy Staples <laughs> opened up that envelope with anthrax in it. This really was 11 years ago. Billy opens up a thing and fucking powder comes all out. <laughs> Doing the anthrax scare. <laughs> and we wouldn't let him in the same room. We're like, stay the fuck out. 
<laughs> and, <laughs> like go to the hospital or something? What? No, he fucking filled up something with powder because he wanted to take a couple days off. He still swears his day didn't. But he's spreading powder around and fucking acting like he needs to go on a four-day dr uh, drunk. Um, it's not very producer-like. Let's go over to uh, Gary. You're on the Run of Fez show. Oh, uh, yeah, Ron. I just got this over the AP wire. Uh, the Japs have surrendered. They dropped another bomb on them. Oh, oh. VJ Day. Yeah. I'm so excited. That means the boys are going to be home soon. Wow. It's good time square. Uh, Mark, you're on the Run of Fez show. Holy shit, Ronnie. Hold on to your chair. Opie and Anthony fired from WNEW. I can't what even the believe fuck are that. We gonna do? I can't even believe that. I'm sure they'll be on something soon called Satellite Radio. What is that? It hasn't been invented yet. Abdul, you're on Run Fez. Hey, Mr. Bennington. I am out in uh, Egypt in the desert, and there are these uh, strange things being constructed. They're four sided, kind of pointy, very tall. <laughs> Look, I think they're called pyramids. Fez got a little confused. About a few weeks and 11 years. It happens. Uh, Kyle, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, what's up, guys? I just heard that Adam and Eve moved into a co-op in the meatpacking district. Uh, Kenny, you're on the Run of Fez show. Ichiban, Eastside Dave, and Earl have officially left the show. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Well, maybe this Zito kid will work out. I don't know. Hopefully. Unlikely. Um, let's go over here to Disney Spy. Hi ho! Run and run. What's going on, buddies? I got a spy report for you. Uh, Disney spy used to call us in Florida all the time and tell us and the shit that, that like who threw up where and. Also, oh, he would have had some intel on the pepper spray guy. Yeah, he would have been all over the pepper spray guy. But Disney used to be so mad at it that they used to make our Orlando fucking station drop out when we were talking Holy to Disney shit. spy, and they would just start playing music. While we were talking, <laughs> fucking they shit. fucking seriously they controlled so many ad dollars, so our they had our Orlando station just petrified, and they would just fucking just they had a board up who would begin to play music every time he called in, and I were they looking for Disney Spy, the whole yeah, time. Yeah, remember they put out a. Uh, oh, I can't even think of the word now. But yeah, there was like a bounty on my head. Yeah, they were looking for him for all over, and uh, he would always be the just most ridiculous things about who got high where and That's who awesome. was banging chicks. I mean, there's nothing really bad, you know, but they would be just furious. They had controlled everything so tightly. They just couldn't get out about Disney. See, like the D fucking... Yeah. See, like the D.B. Cooper of Disney? Like, did he ever get caught? Or No. Nice. No. There's still fucking probably other people have been fired. Uh, all right, Disney Spy, good to talk to you. All right, you too, buddy. All right, peace. Hey. Um, let's go over here to, uh, Ian. Ian, you're on the Run of Fez show. Ronnie, the British are coming. The British are coming. Well, one up by land, two up by sea. Jim, Alabama. Hey, Ronnie, I was wondering if you could play a bit that, uh, Fezzy, uh, championed yesterday called Faggot of the Opera. I missed it. I'm That's so sorry. something we do to, uh, tease Al Dukes. We call him that mm -hmm. as a way to mock him out about his masculinity. Oh, I don't know whether so we, we have it on here anywhere. Um, Can we pull that? I mean, it's only yesterday. Yeah, let's go over here first of all to, uh, uh, as we're looking for it, we'll keep this going. Here is um, Josh. Josh, you're on the Run and Fez show. Hey, boys. The Knicks' troubles are now going to be over that we drafted this kid, Patrick Ewing. Well, I think you're going to see a lot of championships. Those Georgetown players don't have it. Um, Roger, you're on the Fez. Hey, what's up? Oh. Uh, I was just born last week. Now I'm sitting here 6'2", 200 pounds. Uh, David, you're on the Fez. Yeah, I just saw this beautiful new singer. Uh, I think her name is Whitney Whitney Houston, I believe. She's amazing. She looks like she could be a role model for all of our children. Uh, Jim, you're on the Fez. Hey, uh, Ron, I don't want to make you panic, but you might want to evacuate. I think a plane just flew into the World Trade Tower. Oh, that's still too soon. Even, at, <laughs> even under uh, 11 years. You're on Running Fez. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, love the show. Um, I'm pretty bummed out, though. I just heard that Dale Earnhardt died at Daytona. Oh, that is awful. Arch, you're on Running Fez. 11 years ago, two men couldn't get married. Does he make sense? <laughs> Doesn't even fucking make sense. Um, I'm going to go over here to our friend. 
Uh, I think his name is Blowhard. Hey, Ronnie, this is Blowhard. First time listener, first time caller, and everything's going great. All right, so because <laughs> it's the past where he's most is happy. Fez hasn't spoke out about this, but he was very confused. He brought up a story uh, that he said, and I started. I'm staring at him when he brought it up because I remember. When we did it, and I forced him, I said, oh, when did this happen? He said a few months back. I forced him to look it up. It was 11 years ago, because I knew that we had done it at NEW. Fez, what do you think happens in that noggin of yours where you don't know where these facts and figures come from and you don't understand time? It's just a goulash up there. Every memory that's still around is just all mixed together. It's why a lot of his TV references, like he'll do a joke and the reference is on 1960s TV, <laughs> but he's doing it to put down Zito, and Zito has no idea what he's saying or what he means. Um, <laughs> Keith, you're <laughs> on the Ronnie Fed Show. It happens yeah, all the time. Hello, it's just a Keith. Yeah. I, I don't want anybody to panic, but a, a big asteroid from, uh, hit the uh, Yucatan Peninsula. And life as we, we, we may know it uh, may be gone. Uh, Carl, you're on Fez. Hey, Ronnie. It's, uh, it's Carl here in California. Uh, I just said I'm about to lose my slave. Let's go over here to Sergio. Hey, Ron, check out this new movie called Star Wars coming out. It should be yeah, a good I movie. heard about it. I heard it's got robots and a big hairy dog. Should be good. <laughs> oh. Should be good. Uh, Adam, you're on the Ronnie Fez show. Ron, sad to say that the king, Elvis Presley, had a spoiler. Oh, this is the worst news in 1977. Um, I just got an email from the Winklevoss twins. They say they have a great idea. <sighs> nice big faggot of the opera hat for outerwear. <laughs> the faggot of the opera. Nice big faggot of the opera hat for outerwear. <laughs> The faggot of the opera. Nice big faggot of the opera hat for outerwear. Boy, did you hear the laughter, too, that that joke was getting. Uh, Fez brought up uh, um, a bit. It was actually a news story about a kid getting in trouble for using a chicken wing as uh, a weapon. A kid at school pointed a chicken wing at another kid. And he was suspended from school. Fuck. Now, I remember that conversation because it was such a bizarre one. And I knew it happened when we were at WNEW. So I say to Fez when he brings it back up to prove a point today, when, did, when was that news story? Fez tells me, uh, I think a couple weeks ago. Then I have him look it up. And here's the funny thing that Fez starts doing. So it's like, oh, I have finally found it. And he starts to describe it like, I'm going to forget the fact that the date is the funny part. There's nothing else in there that matters to me <laughs> except for the date. What happened? But yeah, Fez is throwing out all kinds of bullshit things that, to make me feel like, oh, yeah, okay, and then move on. That was fucking amazing. Um... Let's go over here to uh, John. John, you're on Fez. Hey, it's a great day for America, boys. One small leap for... Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dick. Dick. Go back in time and make your call correctly. Brian, you're on Fez. Hey, if Fez gets confused over 11 years, does that mean he thinks he's only 60? Uh, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Richard, you're on Fez. My phone, my brother. Yeah. Hey, Fez, I'm trying to get a hold of Retard Eddie about the live gig at Frankie's Patio. So funny. We actually had a character on name on our show named Retard Eddie. You know you can never get away with that. <laughs> <laughs> and the bit would always end with us either punching him or throwing stuff on him. <laughs> um, that was, what, about three, four weeks ago we used to do that bit. I was um, still in kindergarten then. Jake, you're in Fez. Hey, buddy. Hey, Fez. The Bucks won the Super Bowl. Woo-hoo! Chris, you're on the Run of Fez show. Yeah, hey, Ron. I wondered if you'd heard about this new invention they got. just came out. It's called the Wheel. I've I never would, heard of it. I would never, ever get involved in that. Here's Alexander Graham Bell. 
Ronnie B., I just invented the telephone yesterday, and I wanted my first call to be to you. <laughs> why did anyone think that he talked like that? <laughs> but why wouldn't he? Here's our buddy Andy in Cleveland. Hey, Ron, it's the first time you've heard this bit. It might be a hit. Hey, who is this crazy Andy with this song? Hope he calls us periodically the whole year long. With Joe Jackson, you just can't go wrong. And it might just make him rich. Yeah. There he goes, doing the Joe Jackson stuff. Coming up in just a little bit, our old buddy from NEW, Mikey D, is going to step in. Fez probably thinks he saw him yesterday. Like, just a little bit. Do you mean actually just a little bit or like 10 months from now? Or? I, this is a show with no sense of time okay. whatsoever. We're unstuck? This time cop shit has really <laughs> fucked me up. We are unstuck in time. <laughs> floating around. This is fucked up, yeah. man. Floating around. <laughs> Any day could be whatever day. You have to think of this studio as a tunnel of time or time tunnel. We're East Coast journeyman or journeymen. Um, Tony, you're on the run of Fed show. Hey, uh, I just got one of these new pagers and I got a call uh, 911. I had to find a pay phone. Uh, uh, Bill, you're on running Fez. Holy shit, they shot Malcolm the 10th. Lordy, lordy. Kevin, you're on the running Fez show. Hey, guys. <clears throat> I just uh, want to let you guys know that I'm about to get on a, a huge ship. It's called the Titanic. Hope, uh, hope, it do, hope it goes well. All right, Fez, you're not getting involved with the bit that's going around behind you. I'm just wondering, how do you feel about this? I feel pretty dumb about it. Why? Um, just thinking that something, it actually unnerved me a little bit that I thought something that happened 11 years ago happened at the most three months ago. That seems a little bit weird. Well, how does that happen in your head? Um, it's just that I thought that I, I was trying to remember the story and then it just felt like it was just recently. Hmm. Because there was no real even tie-in. I guess the fact that they were both foods. Well, I think this happened probably last year, I think, but I think it was a different type of food. Maybe that's what... Yeah. Threw them no, off. I don't think so. Because I do remember the wing thing, and at the time, like here, he was acting like, oh, this is ridiculous. But at the time, I remember it was one of his anti-gun things. You know, he, Columbine. Is one of those things that happened that affected Fez, and that was just about a week and a half ago. So, it's, Jesus, you know, uh, here's uh, Dino. You're on a Fez. Hey, Marilyn Manson. I only saw the basketball Roar. 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 Are you a dinosaur? Roar. <laughs> uh, they don't roar. Uh, Bill, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Roddy B., I just wanted to be the first to say it's it's uh, great to have you back after your appendix surgery, and I'm sure Fez visited you in the hospital, right? Mm. No. Jim, you're on the run of Fez show. Yeah. Yeah, these colors are getting out of hand. Rosa wouldn't get out of my bus seat this morning. Let's see. I'm nervous about that anyway.